Hey everybody, welcome to the Healing Place Church Daily Devotions, and we are looking at the last words of Jesus before he is going to the cross. And this week in particular, we are looking at words from the garden. And so John gives us a really unique story that you don't actually see in the other gospels, but he gives us some really great details. And I gotta be honest, this is one of my favorite passages in all of the New Testament. In John chapter 18, verses four through nine, now it's, I know it's a lot of text, but follow along with me. It says this, Jesus fully realized, I love that, underline that, Jesus fully realized all that was going to happen to him, so he stepped forward to meet them. Who are you looking for, he asked. Jesus the Nazarene, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. And as Jesus said this, I am he, they all drew back and fell to the ground. Once more he asked them, who are you looking for? And again they replied, Jesus the Nazarene. I told you that I am he, Jesus said, and since I am the one you want, let these others go. He did this to fulfill his own statement. I did not lose a single one of those you have given me. So when you read the narratives about the trial of Jesus, about the crucifixion of Jesus, about the arrest of Jesus, one of the things that the gospel writers wants us to realize is Jesus is not a victim, but a victor. He is fully aware of what is going on. I want you to take a look at some of the things that are happening here. Jesus was not caught off guard. In fact, if you study this and you realize what's going on here, is Jesus had dismissed Judas at the Last Supper and then took his disciples to a specific garden, a garden that he knew Judas would find him later. And Jesus has just gone through the prayer. He's his prayed, Father, you know, I'm going to surrender to you. Not my will be done, but yours. And it says this, John says he knew exactly what was going to happen. So he stepped forward to meet them. You see, Jesus wasn't running away. He wasn't trying to escape. He went out to them. They didn't know exactly where he was. They didn't have his GPS location, but they were using Judas as a guide to locate him. And Jesus said, you don't even need Judas to find me. I'm going to go find you. I'm going to step out. But then check this out. What does he do? He is in charge of this scenario. He comes in and he's the one that's asking the questions. In fact, he's demanding things and giving orders in this scenario. And the most beautiful moment happens. Jesus steps out and he says, who are you looking for? And they say, Jesus the Nazarene. And I think this is interesting because when, and if you study this historically, when someone says Jesus, they say the Nazarene, that was actually a slight insult. Oh, it's the Nazarene. They weren't held in the highest regards. And they said, Jesus the Nazarene. And Jesus says, I am he. Now we translate that in English is I am he, but really he only said I am. And this is a callback to the time in Exodus when Moses asked God, what is your name? And he says, I am that I am. So when Jesus proclaims his divinity, he says, I am. Look what happens. It says, when he said I am, they all drew back and fell to the ground. At the very mention of his divine power, they could not even stand. These are trained guards. These are armed guards. This is a huge mob. Some scholars say up to 500 men would have been here because they were looking for a fugitive, right? They were looking for someone in the middle of the night. So they would have needed a large rescue party. And Jesus looks, he goes to them, and he says, who are you looking for? And then he says, I am, and they all fall to the ground. You see, Jesus is in control of this situation. They're not in control of this situation. And so he says, who are you looking for? And what do they say? Jesus the Nazarene, he says, you know what? I'm the one, so you're gonna let these guys go. Why did Jesus do this? Why did Jesus kind of do a little spiritual flex in that moment that calls these men to fall to the ground? Because he was doing it not to impress anyone. 
He was doing it to protect his disciples. John, who was there, who witnessed this with his own eyes, he said, he did this to fulfill his own statement. I did not lose a single one of those that you have given me. You see, Jesus was showing us in these verses just a little picture of the gospel. What is he saying to these men? He says, take me, not them. Take me, not them. And that is the picture of the gospel is Jesus, who is innocent, says, take me, not them, them being us who are guilty. He's the one that is surrendered into the hands of sinful men. He is the one that is going to go to the cross and pay the price for our sins. So as we approach Easter, there's no real application to this other than I want you to think about this. Why did Jesus do what he did? Because of his great love for us. You see, he was not a victim. He was the victor. He secured our victory. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back tomorrow. This has been a great series. Stay tuned. More to come. Learning on the famous last words of Jesus.